Well. Hello, sir. We're keeping the mine closed until that crypt is clear. Well, we did that. As surprising as it may be, we cleared we the mine of Draugr. We were waiting for the Jarl to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. Now we can get back to work. Thank you. You are most welcome. See you. Yes, and you. All right, everyone. We have done a great service for the very nation of Skyrim. We have kept the gears of economy turning. Now it's time to find... Well, how the heck we get to Markarth. Oh, oh, that looks dangerous. Looks like a floaty danger thing. I'm not going to go that way. Let's go this other way. Of course, these people couldn't have a proper path to their mine. Or at least not a proper path from their mine. Oh, oh, that's not a spell that I can use on you. Oh, sorry, Miko. Right, another of these mounds. Now, I'm fairly certain if, if we can get down, Markarth is sort of that way. Uh, here's a good place as any. Dead mud crab. I'm not complaining. All right, we must swim across here. There. Now, if we check the map, hmm, looks like the main path. Ah, here we go. To Markarth is that way. I'm superior to you in every possible way. <laughs> Who am I kidding? What are we I'm fighting not? now? Oh, sorry. Oh, fell into slaughterfish infested waters. They say actions speak louder than their words, so I'll let my weapons do the talking. Mud crab. I'll kill you if I have to. I'll read everyone. I think we can probably let the slaughterfish off with a warning. Catch up or you'll be left behind. Sophie, at least you know how to keep up. Hopefully everyone else will be along shortly. Hopefully. Well, this is a very depressing place. I'm... Oh. Oh. Person. Uh, let me guess. Hello, Mac. 
Mike knows why Farmer Mike. are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing. Really. Alright, I believe you. No one but the most honest man in Skyrim would call himself a liar. Oh, Miko, Nigo. Glad you caught up. Huh. Well, seems we've made it. Strange sort of architecture here. Looks like people are meeting over here. What happened to you, Pavel? The Forsworn have taken Kolskager mine. We're the only ones left. Oh, God. You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the Jarl. Are you alright, Gat? Still shaken from all the fighting, my friend. It's been too long since I had to kill someone. Well, don't think we'll be getting involved in that. Draugr are one thing, but... Forsworn, they talk about them like they're... I don't know, people? Not really keen on killing people, if we can avoid it. Ah, here are the stables, where we can probably buy a horse. And the city gate. Everyone ready? On we go. Hmm. For your home. Um, sir, oh, is there something you, uh. Oh, no. no. Never should have come here. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. Stop attacking merchants. Mr. Dragonfly is worried about the legality of what we just did. He thinks we should Everyone, go. Stay back. The Markarth City Guard have this all under control. There are no forsworn here. Um, alright. I'm just gonna see if there's anything good on this man's body. Or this woman's. Hmm. Okay. Gods. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Well... There was... A man. I was right here. He started attacking people. He, he almost killed me. I'm so sorry. I hope the aid give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Um... I guess... Do you... <laughs> Do you know anything about the attack? Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. All right. Well, goodbye. I'd better get going. Let's see, uh. Let's see what this note we dropped is. Let's see. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos at midnight. Nope, I don't think that was mine. I I understand what's going on here. He's trying to set up a clandestine meeting, but... Uh, the whole clandestine meeting thing seems like it could get someone. All right. 
me, for example, into trouble, and I'm not looking for trouble. Right? It's clear I'm not looking for trouble, right, Miko? Okay. We need to find some sort of smith. Hello? People are strange. Alright, is this a... Oh! Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market rabble. We should get back to work. You there, <laughs> if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Well, I am... Probably Quicksilver <laughs> will sell well here. Hello! Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. I doubt it. What have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. <sighs> I'm shocked to hear you say that. Never have I heard any merchant in Skyrim say that. All right. Quicksilver. Yes, I think that will sell quite nicely here. Hmm. Perfect. Now, let's see if you have anything I would want. Hmm. The necklace does seem tempting. The ring that grants health. I could find that useful, certainly. Alright, let's do this. Give me your ring. And the necklace. And actually, well, even this circlet could be useful potentially. And take some of these things off my hands. Because the gods know I do not want to be carrying everything in Skyrim around with me. Hmm, actually, Dwarven items, probably not right to sell here in Markarth. What should I be looking to buy in Markarth? I would go with gold, but I've heard something about your political situation here. Probably gold won't be particularly f uh, particularly well stocked. Also silver potentially. Hmm. All right. What do you have in the way of gold and silver? No. No. No, not good enough. I suppose you don't really have anything that I 
need to bring to the next town. You're just a destination for goods. Alright. At least that means I can offload some of this to you. Probably give this to a Nico. I'm sure someone would enjoy wielding these. random bits and bobs. Gems, I think I can sell elsewhere. I can have this. You're giving me three gold for a unique book. I just don't think so. I cannot, in good conscience, let it go for that price. Is there anything else you have that I can buy that might preserve its value? No. Really nothing worth buying. Okay. Thank you very much. Come back whenever you need something. Thanks. Well, let's see if there's anywhere else in this town we can sell. Uh, but before we do that, let's see a little bit of right trading. You. Let's trade some things. How can I serve you, my Thane? All right. You tend to prefer two-handed weapons. And let's see. Dwarven Greatsword of Burning, 19 damage, versus Steel Battleaxe of Embers, 19 damage. The 
the value of this seems inferior to the value of this. So why don't you take this, and I'll take this back. And in case you need them, take these arrows. And I believe you are also the most likely of any of us to use a shield. And I think I got a nice one here. There. And that means I'll take back that shield. Excellent. Good. You lead, I'll follow. Now, Sophia. Do you have something to say? Let's trade. Uh oh. I hope that wasn't valuable. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Hmm. Yes. Of course. Okay, so you have a Dwarven Sword, 10 damage, value of 354. Alright, better than anything else I could give you. Hmm. And as far as armor goes, I think you are well-equipped. Alright, and Inigo. I'm here for you. Let's trade. Pooling our resources. Alright. all of your things. Not sure why you're wearing steel gauntlets, but okay. Let's make sure that the sword you have, damage 15. Oh yes, much better than what I could provide. And if we look here, ah, you might be able to make use of this circlet. Certainly better than I could. Okay. Goes with your Let earrings. Let's get back to it. All right. And now for me, restoration costs ten percent less. Okay, first of all, let's put on a circlet that's actually providing a benefit. And I think I'd rather have frost resistance. And a ring that's going to really benefit me. There. Excellent. Uh, Lydia. I've got your back. Let's trade. I am at your command. Now, I notice you aren't wearing a necklace of any sort. Uh, but I suppose the only one that would do you any good I'm already wearing. Alright. My apologies. Lead on. I look like I'm up to something in these clothes. Yes, they are assassin's clothes. But they're the best we can find. And I'm not about to have you dying on me. Now, it looks like there could be smiths down here. Uh, but probably during the day. Ugh, what time is it, even? Uh, nearly ten. 
All right. Let's get a room. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. All right. Speak. Hello. This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Silverblood? Don't know who that is. But do you have any rooms to rent? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Please do. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Um... Well, thank you for your... hospitality, but... Um, am I to understand that my bed is uh, actually a stone slab? This slab of stone with a skin strewn over it. I guess so. Alright, Sophia, you and I need to have a talk. I understand that. Uh, well, that you find yourself attracted to me. This is understandable. I am a powerful man, and I've been called handsome once or twice before. But we work together. You're my unpaid bodyguard, and I just... I don't think it would work between the two of us. Now, I've noticed every time I try to go to sleep, you stand, looking expectantly at the bed, and, okay, that's creeping me out, don't, don't make that face again. I think, I'm, I'm just saying, I think maybe you should rent your own inn, uh, or not inn, uh, room in an inn. You know, go carouse some, you're always talking about how you like to drink, Go get a drink, eat some food, do something other than staring at me. Do you understand? Do you have something to say? Um... Yeah. I guess that's just not getting through to you. Can I, sure. can I talk to you about something? Mine. Okay. How... how are you feeling? Fine, I guess. I would elaborate further if I could be bothered, but thanks for asking. Okay. Thanks. Good. Okay. So... You yes. stay here, then. let's go. And I guess I'll go to sleep. Lovely. <laughs> 